Hello and welcome back to Brita Satu English's special report on President Widodo's new cabinet. We previously highlighted a number of appointees seen as promising sign for Widodo's new government, including Health Minister Nila Muluk and Finance Minister Bambang Brojonegoro. We will now take a look at some of the appointments that set off calls of concern among critics and activists. Megawati's daughter Puan was able to nab a top ministerial seat, as was Riyar Mizar Rikudu, a former army chief of staff implicated in human rights offences in East Timor, Aceh and Papua. Riyamizat Riyakudu will act as the country's new defence minister. He is a controversial appointment. Riyamizat is seen by many as a hardline nationalist with a checkered human rights record. His appointment will likely do little to address allegations of ongoing human rights offences by Indonesian security forces in Papua or sit well with the Achenese, where the military has been implicated in the torture and disappearances during its brutal decades-long fight with local separatists. Megawati's daughter, Puan, will serve as a coordinating minister of human resources development and cultural affairs. Puan's appointment riled those who hoped to see a cabinet free of the type of political patronage that stained Yudhoyono's cabinet. As a senior member in the PDIP, Puan played a large role in Widodo's presidential campaign and was seen by many as a sign of her mother's influence behind the scenes. The appointment of senior PDIP politician Chayo Kumolo for the complicated matters. Chayo will serve as the nation's home affairs minister, a significant position tasked with drafting national policy and supervising regional elected officials. Chayo also serves as the secretary general of the PDIP and has been seen as another appointee in Megawati's camp. The trend continues with the appointment of Susi Pujastuti, a businesswoman with close ties to Megawati. Susi is the country's new maritime and fisheries minister, an important position under Widodo's plan to develop Indonesia's maritime industry. Susi amassed a fortune running a fishing company before starting the charter airline Susi Air. Megawati's former Minister of Industry and Trade, Rini Mariani Sumarno, got a second shot at a central government posting with Budodo, naming her as Indonesia's Minister of State-Owned Enterprises. Rini is the daughter of Sumarno, a former central bank governor and confidant to President Sukarno. She previously sat on Widodo's transition team and worked with a number of companies and government institutions, including Citibank, Agrocom and the U.S. Department of Treasury. Rini previously found herself the focus of a Corruption Eradication Commission, KPK, inquiry into graft in a central bank liquidity assistance program during the Asian financial crisis.